Need a new stocking to hang on your mantle for the holidays? I'm Tova with Professor Pincushion and today I'm going to show you how to make a handmade stocking. Download our free pattern and follow along with this demo to create a one of a kind stocking for you or your loved one. It's up to you on whether to keep it simple or embellish it for extra personalization. The faster the stocking is made, the sooner it can be filled with goodies. Let's go ahead and get started. Here are some of the supplies I'm going to be using in order to create my stocking. We have a pattern which you could download off professorpincushion.com. With this pattern, I'm going to be using two different types of fabric. You can see I have red and white. They're both kind of a velour, minky type fabric, but you can also use the fabric like fleece. I have a half yard of both. I also just have three and a half inches of a ribbon. This is about one inch in width. And then I have some trim. This is five eighths of a yard that you're going to need. The width can vary. I would get at least an inch, if not more than an inch for the width of that. I have my fabric marker, a sewing gauge. Of course, I'm gonna be using my sewing machine, straight pins, all-purpose thread, and some fabric scissors. From the pattern piece, you're going to cut two pieces out of your main fabric and then two pieces out of your lining. Also make note that there's a dot right here. This is for the ribbon placement and you wanna mark that on your lining fabric. Take one of your lining pieces. Now this mark from the pattern is three inches from the top. I'm gonna to take my ribbon, this is three and a half inches. I'm gonna fold it in half with the right side out and I'm going to line up this raw edge with the edge of my fabric starting at where the dot is. Then I'm just going to pin it into place so we can baste it at the machine. Baste on the ribbon using the longest length stitch on your machine. Take your two main fabric pieces, place them together so they're right side to right side, and you're going to line everything up, and you're going to pin all the way around the stocking, except for this side right here, because this needs to stay open. So from here, all the way around here, and you're gonna do the same thing with the two lining pieces, because they look exactly the same, and then we're gonna take it to our machine for a seam. Doing a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around my stocking except for that top opening and you'll notice that I'm using a walking foot. I just find with these type of fabrics it's a little bit easier to make sure that it evenly feeds underneath the foot, but it's definitely not necessary. Any curved areas of my seams, I'm going to cut these little inverted notches that you can see right there. Just be careful that you don't actually cut into your stitches. After you're done doing that to both the main stocking and the lining part of the stocking, go ahead and flip them right side out. Let's add our trim. This is right side out. My trim is gonna be placed on this right side up. And I'm going to start here at this back side seam area. I'm gonna go all the way around the stocking, pinning it, and then once I get to the other side, just overlap it by a little bit, and that should be good. You can place the top edge of your lace at the top edge of the stocking, but we're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. So just imagine this is gonna cut into it a quarter of an inch. So if you wanna see a little bit more of the lace, I would use your sewing gauge to measure down, let's say, an eighth of an inch and then place my trim at that point right at the bottom. You don't want to do it at the quarter inch mark because that's going to look awkward. You want at least some of the top of your trim tucked into that seam allowance. So I would do it at the eighth inch mark or at the top edge. Base your trim into place. When you finish, grab your lining, which should look pretty much exactly like this, and you're going to slip it onto your main side. You just wanna make sure that the right side to right side. So this is right side out, this is wrong side out. So the right side is going to the right side and you're going to match up the top edge with the top edge all the way around. Pin around this whole top edge. We wanna make sure that after we do our quarter inch seam allowance that we're able to flip the whole thing right side out again. So I'm gonna leave an opening here. I put some pins, just made them into a shape of an X. So I know where to start sewing and then where to stop sewing. Between these two pins, it's about three and a half to four inches in length. 
After you finish doing your seam, you're going to reach into the opening and turn everything right side out. When you flip it right side out, it should look something like this. So I have right side of the main piece, right side of the lining, and they're kind of going in opposite directions. I'm just going to take my lining and slip it into the main piece so it's on the inside where the lining should be. We still have to sew our opening closed, so this is the last part. All I'm going to do is take my lining, I'm going to fold it so it's going under a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to do the same thing on the red part. Now it's hard because it does have this trim, but you can still see through the trim where the quarter inch is. And use your sewing gauge to match it. And then you're going to pin them together so we can do a slip stitch in order to sew it close. Use a matching color thread for this section. I'm just using black so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So we're basically going to be going between the red side in my case and the white side. Now it's hard because there is trim in between, but if I need to go through the trim in order to get to one side, I'm going to do that. So I'm starting off on my white side and I'm going to grab a little bit of the red just on that fold line. And if you need to come through the trim, again, come through the trim. And you also have to make sure that you don't get twisted around your trim as you're pulling this through. So I'm just going to pull this through. And now since I'm on the red side, I'm going to grab a little bit of my white side. This is kind of furry, so you need to make sure you're actually grabbing the fabric and not just the little furry fibers. And then pull this through. Okay, and now I'm on the white, so now I'm going to grab the red. And so the only way I can do that is by going through the trim, making sure that I'm grabbing the red on the other side, and then coming, pulling it through again. And then after I get the red, I'm going to go back and get some of the white and just go back and forth until I get to the end. When you finish, just fold the top of the stocking about three inches so you have this nice contrasting fabric and your ribbon is also showing. You have this nice trim as an accent piece. So now you're ready to put up your stocking for the holidays. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.